Hey, thanks for watching this video. Today, I want to show you something incredibly cool that Adobe released on their latest version of Photoshop. This new tool can automatically select the main subject in your photo, whether it's a person, a pet, a car, even a pizza. It uses something called Adobe Sensei, which is their artificial intelligence and machine learning technology. And it finds out what the main subject is in your photo and it'll automatically create a selection of it. So if you're interested, in this video, you're going to learn how to use it, uh, the limitations of it because it's not perfect, and what you can use it for. If you want to take your work to the next level, try out some of my Photoshop actions and Lightroom presets at sparkwithstock.com. There are gigabytes of presets, actions, product mockups, and graphics for you to download. I'm constantly updating your website with new products. Check it out at sparkwithstock.com and use the promo code DENNY for 10% off. First, let's get straight to the point and find out how to use it. The fastest way is to simply go to Select Subject. After it's done processing, you'll get a selection. You can also find this by switching to a quick selection or the magic wand tool and in the option bar near the top, you'll find the Select Subject button. However, the best way to use Select Subject is with Photoshop Select and Mask tool. And you can find that by going to Select, Select and Mask. Look in the options bar near the top and you'll find the Select Subject button. Once it's done processing, Photoshop will create a selection for you based on what it thinks is the subject. But as you can see, it's not perfect. So we're going to tweak it a bit. Select the Quick Selection tool from the toolbar and then paint in the areas where you would like to add to the selection. To remove areas, simply hold the Alt or Option key and paint. For the hair, it's a little bit tricky, but there's this really cool tool called the Refine Edge tool. Select that tool and then paint around the hair and then it should improve the selection quite a bit. When you're done, go to the Output setting and choose whether you like a selection or a layer mask. I'm going to select a layer mask. Click OK and now you should have a cutout of the main subject. Now, let's see how well it performs. Here are some before and after examples of the Select Subject tool with no further adjustments. I find that it works best on photos with simple backgrounds and a subject that is in focus with sharp edges. Obviously, for photos that have no obvious subject like landscape photos, it's not going to work that well. But overall, I would treat it as something that saves you a bit of time. Even though it doesn't give you the perfect results, I think that it's quite decent for what it's trying to do and it's also the best thing that's available right now. Select subject is also useful for the times where you don't need such a precise selection. Times when a rough selection is good enough. For example, you can use the Select Subject tool to easily darken the background of this photo, which will add more focus to the main subject. You can use it to create a selective color effect by desaturating the background. Or you can remove your X from your travel photos with the Content Aware Fill tool. And now you can do all these things with way less effort than it used to take. this video. If you liked it, please remember to hit the like button. Also, we're at 18,000 subscribers, so if you're subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. For those of you who are just watching this for the first time, uh, my channel focuses on straightforward videos that are designed to teach you the most in the least amount of time. So if you're interested, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Let me know what you think about this select subject too. Like, do you think it's great that uh, even though it's not perfect, it's in the right direction? Or do you think Adobe should be focusing their time on other things like performance, bug fixes, or other tools? Um, anyways, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.